Hello, I am Indian Pythonista. In this video, you will learn how to make a PDF audio reader using Python. So, let's get started. Hello guys, in this video, we are gonna make a simple PDF audio reader. Okay, sorry for repeating that. Um, so, it's a two-step process in which you need to do two things. So, the first thing is that you need to make a simple um, PDF text extractor. So, basically, you need to write a Python script which can extract the text from a given PDF file, right? So, that's the step one. And then the step two is to um, write a Python script which can convert the given text to some speech, right? So, that's what you need to do in this um, video that's what we are going to do so let's get started okay so first of all um, we are gonna do the step one which is to make a simple PDF text extractor right so for that we are gonna install a simple um, third-party dependency which is pypdf2 so you can install it simply using a simple pip command which is pip install pypdf2 so so this is a library which helps you easily work with the PDF files, okay? It lets you read, it lets you write new PDF files, etc, etc. So let's see how we can use it here. Okay, so first of all, you will need to import pypdf2, okay? Then what you need to do is that you need to create a PDF file object. Um, basically, it's a simple file object which you can create using a simple open command in which you pass the name of the PDF file that you want to read and the mode so the mode which we will use is um, read uh, the read mode which we'll use is binary so we'll be using uh, we'll be reading in binary mode and then what we are uh, gonna do is that we need to make a PDF reader object so PDF reader is equal to pi PDF2 dot PDF file reader okay in which I will pass the PDF file object so this will create a PDF reader from the PDF file object that I've just passed okay and once that is done um, this PDF reader object contains all the metadata about my PDF file so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to iterate through all the pages of my PDF file and extract the text from each page okay so what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to take the page number so for pa num, page num, okay, let me make it page num, that's more readable. For page num in range, okay, so PDF reader object has a property called num pages, right? So this provides me the number of pages in my PDF file. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a page object for each page in my PDF file. And that is page object is equal to PDF reader dot get page so I will get the page and in that I have to pass the index of my page so that is obtained using page num fine so this way I have created a simple page object for my PDF file okay now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to extract the text so for that I'm going to create a simple empty string here I'm going to name it as my text which is a simple uh, empty string and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add the text of the new page to my string, original string. So it's my text um, plus equal to um, page object dot extract text. So it has a method called extract text. So through that you can extract the text from that page. So in this way we have obtained all the text that we need. And then finally let me close the PDF file object fine and just to show you how my PDF file looks like let me print my text okay okay so first of all let me show you the original PDF file so this is how it looks it contains some quotes right and let's see what we get as output here okay so look at that it's looking fine we got the same text here as well right so in this way we are able to extract the text from our given PDF file so the step one is complete and now let's move on to the step two which is to make um, a python script which is able to convert my text to speech right so for that we will need to install some dependencies okay so 
the first thing is that you will need to install a library called eSpeak for Ubuntu or any Linux platform. So you will, need, you will need to install eSpeak for Linux platforms. For other platforms, um, you can check out um, PyTTS 6.3. Okay, so let me check that. Okay, so for Windows, I think it's by default available. It's API 5, some um, TTS engine. TTS means text to speech. For uh, Mac people, it's NSSS, and for Ubuntu users, it's eSpeak. So these are all the TTS engines and there is a python library called pyttsx which is made over the top of these okay so what you need to do is that sudo apt get install espeak okay so okay so i have espeak uh, the tts engine and other than that you need a python wrapper around this tts engine and that is pyttsx so you can install it like sudo pip install pyttsx3 um, so we are using pyttsx3 because it supports python 3 and python 2 both and the work on the pyttsx the original um, library um, has been halted i think so that's why we are going to use pyttsx3 so let's install it so these are the two dependencies that we are going to need um, to make our pdf audio reader so let's see what we have to do here okay so first of all simply import um, pyttsx3 okay so you need to make a you need to make an engine instance engine is equal to pyttsx3 dot init so this method will create a new tts engine instance for me and then what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to say something engine dot say hello let's see and what we're gonna do here is engine dot run engine dot run and wait okay so run and wait function will wait for all the um, previous say commands to get executed so once all the previous say commands have been executed totally only then the control is passed to the next lines in your code right so that's why we use run and wait function okay so let's try it hello okay so that was a simple hello right so this is how you are going to convert text to speech here and why am i using pytd 63 it's because it's an offline thing and that's why it's um pretty convenient to use right so that's one more feature of pytd 63 i would say okay so there are some more features here as well which can be um, you can change the voice okay so let's see how you can do that so if you are using ubuntu or any other linux system you can change the voice like this engine dot set property voice and just pass en plus m en plus f3 okay so f stands for female voice and you can try f1 to f5 here so it will give you a female voice so let's try it hello okay so that was a female voice and if you want a male voice you can simply do look at that m and then write any number between one to seven hello okay so that was a male voice right so this is how you can tweak with the voice and other than that you can also change the rate um, rate of speech so to get the rate value current rate value you have to do engine dot get property rate and if you want to uh, let me print the rate value hello okay so the current rate value is 200 so let me lower it down a bit so let's say it is engine dot set property rate let me make it 150 okay so let me run it now hello okay so that was a bit lower rate of speech right 
so this is how you can um, tweak with the other properties here as well so this was all about uh, my TTS and now let's write the final script um, let me sh put it here okay so first of all let me copy this all okay and now from here I need some import by ttsx3 and then all these things okay so what I want my engine to speak is some text my text right so that's it that seems fine so this is the complete code for a simple PDF audio reader that we have just written and I think it should work fine so let's try it okay let me move to the desktop um, it's python 3 pdf audio reader dot ty okay so let's run it Jack Dorsey creator twitter founder and ceo square I think that great programming is not all that dissimilar to great art once you start thinking in okay, concepts okay so it seems to be working fine right so this is how we have created a simple PDF audio reader here and it's working really fine and um, you can experience that yeah the voice quality is not that good but you should also understand that it's a simple open source project and um, it's offline right so if you want better voice quality you may use some Google API but for now it is what it is okay so this was a simple PDF audio reader from my side if you have any other doubts you can post them in the comment section below and that's it from this video thanks for watching